See, in India, if you check any automotive OEM, everyone will be using Puja Castings. Actually, Puja Castings is completing their 36 years yes. and uh, they are a pioneer in gravity die casting. Now, not just gravity die casting, now they are also doing LPDC as well as HPDC. So, we are having with us the chairman who have taken, you know, the, the, the person who is behind all the success, Sri Anil Kulkarni at GIFAR 2023. This is the second time you are, he, they are participating. We but are I think many years uh, you were visiting. Yeah, yeah. We, are, we have been visiting earlier also. But participation we did in 2019. 2019. Yeah. With the time when we decided to uh, open up our doors for exports, we thought of interacting with the international community. And that's the reason we came here. So, now you are actually, we can say, one of the market leader in India when it comes to automotive component, uh, you know, especially in the gravity dive casting. Yeah. So, can you just give us a small, uh, you know, journey how Puja castings have grown all these years? Okay. Actually, Puja casting, you know, we started in 1987. Uh, to be precise, it is on 15th uh, June 1987. And uh, there afterwards, initially we were doing it on a very small scale. Uh, it was a, a plot of around 1200 square feet was taken on rent. And then uh, we started with that. But after within two years of time, we got our own land in MIDC. And that time, you know, the Indian government or especially the Maharashtra was there supporting, establishing industry, small scale industry in a reasonably good way. Uh, under that, I started, I got that plot in a proper way and then uh, we know right from the beginning I was working for Tata Motors and uh, they were very very helpful and uh, very you know they are the people who uh, started the small scale entrepreneurship in uh, in and around Pune. Okay, we after some days then uh, you know okay, the work, as the work increased then the second unit, the third unit, fourth unit Likewise, we were having around five units in uh, grocery industry area. But it was entrepreneurial growth because it was only when one loan was completed or paid, the second one was taken. And uh, that is how, uh, you know, it was, uh, they were all small units. They were not big units, around 10,000 square feet, 15,000 square feet and all that. But it is in uh, around 2007. We, we, we started thinking around 2005. But 2007, we got the land in Chakan, which was around two acres of land. And that was the first time we took uh, that land and uh, brought all these uh, units together in one place. And then the growth was there. From there, it started more. Congratulations to you yeah. for that. And it is not a small thing. Yeah. I think you are a very preferred customer of uh, Tata. Yes. And, and you have been awarded not only in India, outside. Yeah. So how was your journey with Tata? Tata actually, I st we started our journey with Tata uh, around 36 years before. We are still doing with them and we are going very, very strong. We are one of their preferred source for aluminum die castings, the requirements. We have been working along with them in their development also. Okay, when these new engines were developed, we, we supported the development activity in a way that we uh, modified the components, modified the drawings. We did it in record time. And what we believed in just in time and first time right. First time right and always right is the one what we have been following in our journey. But that is a very challenging thing, right? It first is, time right, all time, all time right, especially in the foundry industry. Especially. We, our team uh, has able to uh, achieve it. Our, uh, our young and dynamic uh, an MD of our company, Mr. Sanket, he, he has been working in the forefront. All our other uh, team members, they have been uh, extremely taking a lot of efforts for doing that. And we have been successful. Sir, now you are at GIFA, so last time also you were there. So how do you see Puja Castings now going globally? You are already, uh, you know, having your market in USA, Germany, Italy, Korea, Australia. Now, where do you foresee Puja Castings in the next five years? Next five years of time, you see our MD recently he has declared to our team and to everybody that this year we completed around 180 crores of turnover. He is wanting our company to be our 1,000 crore company by 2030. 
So in 2032, we will be thousand crore company, and uh, around 30 percent of our revenue should come from uh, export. Yeah. We are wanting to go in a little big way for the e-mobility export, and uh, the big components, non-auto components. You know, that's the focus. Because auto is something which we'll be doing. We'll continue. We are strong with it. But then we have built up our strength over a period of time on the non-auto components. And the changing scenario also we need to yes, understand. Absolutely. The TVs and all those things are going to take some bunch of... Definitely they are going to take. But only thing is that it is not going to be that uh, big a challenge. Because IC engine is going to be there as long as petrol and diesel is there. Thank you very much for your insights. We will meet again in these kind of platforms. Yeah, yeah. Make us proud, make India proud yes. and all the very best to you and uh, the entire Thank team of Pooja Casting. I am sure India will shine. <laughs>